My first thing when I wake up is how my day is going to go because uh, sometimes I'll plan something in my head but then like I don't do it or something changes throughout the day. So yeah. The first thing I think in the morning is really the kind of the struggle that continues from the days be before that day. And the reason why I'm saying that is because when it comes to my situation is that I don't get to go home, relax and just sleep it off and wake up the next morning and say it's a first start. The things that I focus is on um, mostly school, volunteering at places that I've been to in the past, and family. Said is a continuing struggle, continuing flow of enormous stress that keeps on going throughout the continuous days that follows. See, for me, people could see me happy no matter what the circumstance, like sad or anything. For me, nobody sees me as like the person that always like, gets angry at my siblings at home or sad when someone makes me feel bad. I try like to hide that from people. What happens at home is sometimes gets a little bit chaotic for me because I have so much duties as a only man at the house. There's certain obligations, certain things that I need to meet. It takes a ton of effort and it put a lot of stress on me in regards to having to be the only person that drives everyone to places. Like the type of person I think that people don't really hear about me. In the past, I've been bullied by a lot of students in elementary. It was because of my weight and my disability sometimes. My entire life is on talking about except for my younger brother. It always worries me a lot because I don't know what's gonna happen. Like if like my parents get deported, like what's gonna happen to my brother or my sisters. I have to wake at a certain, a certain time in the morning or be up until a certain time of night to be able to pick up my sister or to drop her off to work or pick up my mom or take her to the to doctor, et cetera, and so forth. So it's, it's a constant struggle that there's not really independent time for myself. The reason why I'm going to college is because of my nephews and nieces. And although I might be saying that I have these struggles and I have these commitments to fulfill, some of them are because of pleasure, because I enjoy or I, I'm willingly voluntary to do so. Sometimes it's because I need to do it and it's out of my, my power to be able to say yes or no. I choose school over work because my parents want me to focus on the career I want to be at. But like for me, it's hard to get a job because I haven't worked in the past. Most locations, you have to have experience. Being a DACA recipient has its blessing and it has its bad side to it. The reason I'm saying that is because through DACA, I'm able to get all these benefits such as the opportunity to have a driver's license, work permit, social security number, and be able to be here without the fear of being deported. But at the same time, not many people notice there's a lot of rejection to being a DACA recipient because you're not really integrated into the social life of the United States.
they don't have to like, get deported. What's gonna happen to my brother? Well, I trust focus on the career. How much I need to pay for classes on how you are. I'm not a U.S. citizen or you, you don't have, have a green card. You don't have a U.S. citizen. It's just left out. Don't stress. Chaotic. Out. So much duty no. obligation. My family is my sister or two. There's not really time for a side of myself. Howard. I'm documented. I'm get deported. I'm almost alone. Who I trust. Like to hide from people. No ways. You mm-hmm. don't care. Of. You don't have a place. Here. You have to prove. I can't speak to my friend. Feel empty. The money. Howard. Get deported. Yeah, you don't have the money. money. What's gonna happen to you my undocumented family? Thank you.